So we're going to have a look at the dynamic shape modeling tools here and specifically the transformer rig. Uh, I've just got a simple example um, that I'm going to show. I might do a few more examples after this just to show how they could be used. You've got to look at the transformer rig tools as a kind of a cookbook um, where you, you select different options, you choose how they're going to be applied and then you apply that to the geometry which you know can be freely modified or you can go from one position to another position. You've got constraints and clampers, You've, you can revert it um, and you can remove and replace it all the way through. So here in this example we've got a couple of surface planes and then we've got some different elements here that we're going to modify as part of the modification, you know, that button type things on a fascia. So if I go in here, uh, let's turn off the shading, start with and just work with it as it is. So we're going to build up this transformer rig. So I'm going to say transformer rig. First, it wants the targets. What are we going to modify? So that would be these elements. I want to modify these elements and then instigate some kind of recipe or, in, you know, action to them. It then now asks in the prompt line. Always look for the prompt line. If I can't remember how a tool works, this is the best way. So do I have free, predefined, or, or add modifiers? So now I can say free modifier, which will allow me to move the modifier itself and have things update. We'll look at that later. But if I say predefined, I can then pick this surface as the start point or the origin, and I can say this surface as the destination. So I've now built that configuration and now to make it happen what I've got to say is go. Uh, so now it comes up with a message that within here um, we're going to make changes to the shape and it just tells you how, how this is going to be created. And you can see there is a, a representation of how it was and how it has been and what it's gone to. So if I just double click I've got various options. I can actually show just the original or I can switch between that and have both. So I can show all, or I can just flick between them to see what I had and what I went to um, if I want. As I have here, I have accurate. I could just have the shape explicitly controlled so that um, when we went to the other example, um, I could change the geometry that's been created, uh, increase or decrease it. Um, we're going to leave it back to accurate. I've got some various other controls on these that we're not going to go through right now, but these all control how that deformation has been made. Um, and how it's applied. We've also got a pick mask. So the pick mask helps me when I'm adding in lots of different things, and you'll see that in other examples that I'm going to post. So in here you can see if we go to the top view that we've taken it from this position and we've modified it based on the shape in these two different directions. So there's a, a view from the side and then there's a plan shape. And that modification has then been made where it now goes from one shape to the other. So let's take this one out of the way, make this invisible. And you can see now that these conform. So you can use it for all sorts of design applications where you're trying to test things out and uh, see, how they, see how they work. We can, if we want to come back in here, I can pick this. You can see it brings up the other one. I can go back in and look at it, but I can also say revert. And that will take it back to its original state um, that we had. So I don't have to delete it and recreate it. I can start from there. Maybe let's just take this plane out of the action of the situation now. Make that invisible. Um, let's reset up that relationship. Transformer rig. Pick all of these elements. Accept those. And then we're going to say free modifier. We're going to make that free modifier and accept that. The relationship has been made. When I say go, the calculation is done. And I can now go and modify this free modifier. Let's just go in and pick this shape, turn on its controls and frame. And actually, it's worth mentioning, just let me show the other plane. This plane, uh, these two planes have been made with the same um, build up, same degree and spans. Now, by doing that, we get a better relation from one movement to the other. If they changed and different, different, were different, you will not get a nice flowing movement from one shape to the other. So let me just make that invisible. And now if I go in and I say pick these points, go into the left view. Now, when I modify this, you see that the, the surfaces that are on that lay on that. As I modify it, 
you see that I, I need to wait for the history to update. So this is a great point where I can just suspend the history globally, make my modifications to the shape. Maybe it's this one as well. And let's go into the top view. Move that. And then you can see that they haven't moved. And as soon as I resume and bring that back, the shape updates and I get that modification. So those are some of the couple of the options that you can do. We have flexible modif uh, sorry, flexible targets, and rigid targets as well. So we have the options that we can do and I'll apply those through a couple of other examples that I'm going to put on as additional videos in these kind of showing how transformer rigs as a series. So watch out for that.